In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the halftone processor for Affinity. This template works in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo for Mac, PC, and iPad. So I've got the template open here in Affinity Designer. And the first thing you'll wanna do is go to View Studio Layers. This opens up your layers window. You'll see a number of layers in here. There's color layer, which applies color to your image. There's a halftone layer, which applies halftones to it. And there's a layer for your photos, and then there's a background layer. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is place in an image. This template works best with photos, or if you have some hand-drawn art or logos or type that has tonal values between black and white. It can also be a color image. So what I wanna do here is expand this layer group that says paste photos into the bottom of this group. So you'll see we have some instructions here, which will turn off. We have the lion image, which will turn off. And let's go ahead and highlight this your image layer and go to file place. And I've got some free images from unsplash.com here. This one is an image of the Statue of Liberty. So I'll go ahead and place that in and we can position it. You'll see that halftone effect is instantly applied. We can scale up the image and retain those halftone dots. And just above this layer, you'll see a layer that says light dark levels, double click thumbnail to adjust. So if you double click this, this will open up your levels window and you can adjust the brights and darks of your image. So if you need to adjust it, this is a really good way. So the next thing we'll want to do is look at the different halftone options. So if we expand this halftones layer group here, you'll see there's 16 different options. The nice thing about this template is you can apply some untraditional halftone patterns and a good example would be these wavy dots here. And there's also a grid dot pattern, vertical lines, horizontal lines, angle grid, there's a zigzag horizontal and a zigzag vertical. But I like this wavy dots one. So let's stick with this. I think maybe the dot pattern is a little big. So the other thing you can do with this is you can scale your dot pattern on the fly. So what we'll wanna do here is we go to this fill tool. So if these handles don't automatically show up, make sure you go ahead and highlight your active halftone layer. So we've got wavy dots here highlighted and we can scale this pattern up or down. And the really nice thing with Affinity, even over Photoshop, is we can also rotate this pattern and it'll stay in full repeat. And I think this is looking really good. The other thing you may wanna do is change the color. So let's go to this top color layer here, double click on this layer thumbnail, and then we can go in here, this gradient map window opens up and we can change our color. So let's say we wanted like dark blue and then for the lights we wanted a white or let's say a light blue. And I think that looks really good. Now, let's say you wanted to turn this to vector format. You can't do that in Affinity, but you can do it with an external app such as Adobe Capture. There's a bunch of different options out there. But if you wanna convert it to vector, probably just turn off your colors layer here and that'll turn everything to just pure black and white. Then you can export that as say a PNG, TIFF or a JPEG then open that up in your vectorization software. So that's about it. That's the halftone processor for Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo for Mac, Windows, and iPad. Thanks for watching.